Welcome, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights, Card Wall episode, five minutes perhaps. Earl Monroe up through Randy Moss, starting with Earl Monroe. In fact, this whole episode is dedicated to my friend, Earl the Pearl Mason, <laughs> who's passed away now, but a guy that I played a ton of basketball with. If it was a give and go, I was the give and he was the go. <laughs> he, he scored a lot. I, I got a lot of assists. I wasn't a good shooter. He was technically a good passer, but he, he didn't pass very often. He'd put it up. But Earl Monroe, a lot of shake and bake. If Earl Monroe could p- play with the rules now, it'd be amazing. He's probably not going to go on the wall because I've got another wall for tall boys that I'll do after I get this one finished. I've got a tall boy of him. It's better. Uh, Montana, for whatever reason, I never really looked for a better one. I got this graded and it came back 6.5, but that was the Montana that was in my set. Bill Montgomery, I think this is his only card. He's a member at my golf club, was an outstanding quarterback, and he went against James Street, who's the dad of Houston, in that shootout of number one versus number two back, I think, in Little Rock where President Nixon flew in on a helicopter. I was there with some buddies. I used to go to all the big events. Of course, I was single. I was in college, and uh, days were simpler then. Warren Moon, I'm not going to do this. This is a reminder to get my Canadian Football League rookie card of a Warren Moon slabbed, because that, I think, would be worthy. That'd be a conversation piece. Thanks, sponsors. All of them have participated and contributed and and, uh, been a benefit at various times. Dickie Moore, trying to get hockey cards in there. This is a a great looking card, but I just think I'm going to pull it out and I'll bring out if Jeremy Lee or some hockey aficionado shows up and says, show me what you've got for Dickie Moore. I don't think that's what he's going to say. Johnny Moore uh, went to the University of Texas, but his bigger claim of fame is that he's the condition rarity in the 86-87 FLIR set. So an 8.5 is not rare or scarce. A 9.5 or a 10 is big bucks. Lenny Moore, not all Penn State running backs were equally good in the pros, but he was. He was great, very versatile. I don't think I'm going to keep him, but I really enjoyed watching him play. Matt Moore, same thing. I'm not sure even what I was thinking. It's too late now for Matt Moore to do anything to get him on the wall. He may even be deaccessioned. Uh, on the other hand, Howie Morenz, this guy's a keeper for sure. 4.5 uh, grade on a Sport Kings card from 1933 is a is a really good grade. So I really like this card. It'll be there for the duration. We got Joe Morgan, second year, autographed. His autograph's not so tough. He's passed away now. And even though these on the Astros, that's not a huge factor for me. If in doubt, I'd put him in, but he's not a first round Hall of Famer. There are other people that people would be looking for. Jack Morris, same thing. I'm not upset that he's in the Hall of Fame. I think he was a super competitor, very gritty, but no one's thinking he's one of the top pitchers in the Hall of Fame. And then he's not a particularly tough autograph, so I've got some autographed ones of him, and that's fine. Jim Morris, this is the guy they made the movie of, the rookie. I met him. He seemed very quiet, unassuming, down-to-earth, Really nice guy, and you could see how this guy could just be this amazing guy that walks away from the game and then gets rediscovered, and it's just a fascinating story, and meeting the person, that's believable. Wayne Morris, he's on there because I used to guard him in pickup basketball. I did my episode about my dirty jobs. One of the jobs that wasn't dirty was managing the basketball gym, the alternative gym at night for SMU, and he was there same time. A little bit younger than me, but I was there and I would guard him frequently. Now, he didn't need to guard me that much. We were about the same height, but defense is attitude. So I know that, and that's why I'm excited about the Mavericks, because if you have an attitude of, I want to be the best defender, I've got to be at my best because this guy was my same height, but I, I, I think I was fast. He played in the, in the NFL, so he, he was faster. And so I wasn't going to wear him down. I just was going to try to stay in front of him and and hustle. And we never got into any big arguments or anything, but it was a a mixed race group, which was a lot of fun and very interesting. And I just tried to hold my own. Randy Moss, his greatest uh, highlight in memory is that game against the Cowboys that Rich talks about. Immensely talented receiver. I'm not sure he's going to be on the wall forever, but I think he might be. He could be. Based on talent, he should be. He's one of the best receivers I've ever seen.
And this is a, a very nice card with a nice autograph. Thanks, everybody. Another episode in the can.